Hi there, welcome back to the English class. In the previous videos, you must have observed, we are dealing with personality development. And in this unit, we've gone through the first two chapters, Attitude is Altitude, where we met Mr. Nick Vujic. And in every success story is also a story of great failures. We've met a bundle of inspiring people, didn't we? Now, we shall do the next chapter, I will do it. It's about determination, achieving something, no matter what obstacles. So let's see. Who is this? I shall reveal in a while. But first, let's know about him. He was short. He was sharp. He was the brightest boy in the class. All the seniors came to him to clear their doubts in maths and physics. If you asked him a question of anything about maths or physics, you would see a sparkle in his eye. But if he had passed by you on the road or in a crowd, you wouldn't turn to even notice him once. That ordinary looking person, but so smart in the brain. He came from a poor but educated family. His father was a high school teacher and he was an avid reader of English literature. What does avid mean? It means deep interest towards something. So from there, he passed on his knowledge to his children too. He, like all other boys in the class, this person was trying to get into the IITs, a, a very reputed engineering college. The brighter ones always wanted to study at the IITs, the Indian Institute of Technology. A picture of that. Well, you know that IIT has an entrance. So this boy, along with his friends, appeared to write the entrance test. At that time, they didn't have any coaching centers or any guides or special books in order to help you appear for these exams. Then how did the children practice? They would sit under a stone mandap in their locality. A mandap is a raised structure. All of them would gather beneath it in the evenings and everyone would throng this boy asking him doubts and he would solve them in a jiffy. He was a guide for the others. While the others struggled to solve the problems in the question paper, he would smile shyly and solve them in no time. This boy had a dream. What's that? He sat alone below a tree and dreamt of studying at the IIT. It was his ultimate aim because as any bright boy even today would want to study at the Indian Institute of Technology. He was only 16 years old. So this teenager finally went to Bangalore on the D-Day to write his entrance test. This teenager was such a good boy that if any relative would ask him, do you like the food we've served you? He would say, yes, it's wonderful. Even though he, he had a different opinion about it, he never wished to hurt others. But if someone asked him, how did you write your exam? He would say, okay. He was so humble that even though he was sure he would top the class, his reply would always be, okay. So that was the nature of this amazing teenage boy. This is the teenage boy we're speaking about. The IIT entrance results came. He had passed with a high rank, with a delight. What a delight for a student working so hard. Yes, it's a day for his dreams to come true. He went to his father who was reading a newspaper. And he says, Anna, I have passed the exam. Anna is a word used in South India to a person who is elder in age, giving them more respect. So he says, Anna, I have passed the exam. Well done, my boy, says his father. I want to join IIT. That's the moment he told his father about his dream for the first time. Till then, he had not shared about it to anyone. Look at his character. He has his dreams within himself, planning to achieve their dreams and not going around talking about your dreams before you actually plan and actually achieve them. But what happened? His father, who was reading the newspaper, lifts his head and said, That's great. You are a bright boy. I know you would have cracked it. 
but you know I am the only earning member in our family. I have five daughters who have to get married and three more sons whom I have to educate and being the only salaried person, do you think I can afford the fees of your IIT college? You can stay in Mysore and study as much as you want. That is the bitter truth his father told him that day. The father realized that this would crash his dreams, the teenage boy's dreams, but the truth had to be told. Indeed, it was a difficult situation for any father to say no to his bright son. But circumstances were like that. It was common in those days for the man to be the single earning member and he was responsible for the entire large family dependent on him. Now imagine if you were in that teenage boy's position and your parents said no to you for something. It must have happened in your life, yes? What would you do? What do you think this teenage boy did? did you do you think he quarreled with his parents? Do you think he was angry with his fate? Do you think he threw a fit? To know more, let's go into the next video and I'll meet you there and we'll learn much more about him. See you soon.